In this video, we're going to talk about how do we build a, a Facebook Messenger chatbot flow or you know the design, the blueprint for uh, event and seminar industries. So this could be a relatively uh, more straightforward and simpler flow that we have built compared to all the rest such as e-commerce, property developer, real estate agent. You know, if you have not seen this, please head over to your uh, Facebook Ads Accelerator program and go and take a look at other videos that we have already built up. And uh, I always encourage that you go and use all this as a blueprint, as a reference, and you should start building your own chatbot from there. So uh, the reason why we discuss about this blueprint is because uh, we are actually talking about how you can or you should consider building your Facebook Messenger chatbot for your industry. Because you see, although we know that Facebook Messenger chatbot is real powerful, however, for most people, the biggest challenge is how do we start? How do we get started? And uh, is, is there any template that I can refer to? And that's the reason why we put together. So all these templates is actually part of uh, the course that we have built, which is how to build your Facebook Messenger chatbot for free. Uh, we have a very detailed walkthrough step by step on how do you do this. So um, go back to all the videos that you have seen. You know, if you have not uh, enrolled into this, consider enrolling because it's really a ro very robust program and for all the blueprint that we are sharing with you over here um, this is gonna be a very growing blueprint so from time to time whenever we have encountered some very interesting case studies uh, we would build a sample and we will create another new video as a new lecture to be added into the program okay so today we're going to talk about how do we build a seminar program so of really come back to the very fundamental things the reason why you want to build a messenger chatbot there are two first you want to save time Second, you want to increase revenue. How can all these two things uh, be related? First, okay, uh, you want to save time because you can never possibly able to respond to all the messages that comes into your Facebook Messenger on time. And to be frank, being on time is really important because when somebody comes in to talk to you on a Messenger level, that indicates a very strong intent. So the intent can be faded away in a very short period of time. So what we want to do here is that we want to be able to segregate and bring these intended audiences um, to complete the action as soon as possible. Because without doing that, uh, half an hour uh, cooling period could be a very fatal cooling period where they probably found somebody else and they already bought from them. So you want to really capture these and in a timely manner so you're able to save time and at the same time increasing your revenue. No other thing that can help you strike. Uh, you know a balance in this manner compared to the chatbot. So this is a really huge opportunity But for the past few years Facebook launched Facebook Messenger chatbot in 2016, you know four years down um, You know, there are only about 300 plus thousand chatbots available on the messenger platform That simply means a lot of businesses still have not tapped on the chatbot industry I mean as in like the sector to look at how can we exploit the feature to get more meaningful personalized customer interaction that can really help in terms of improving our ROI. So without further ado, let's dive into the whole thing and uh, we're gonna always start from the starting steps. Okay, a few rule of thumb when we are building a chatbot, you know, first thing first, we always try to address the person who comes in by the name. So over here, uh, using this uh, so-called ManyChat, the benefit of it is that you're able to immediately pull the name. So let's say, you know, come back to editing the disk, uh, by clicking this bracket, you're able to pull out whether it's a first name, last name, full name, and all that. So for this case, when I see this, right, when I come into your messenger, I will be seeing that, hey, Jason, welcome in. Let me guess, you're looking for your our make money online event. Uh, immediately, you see, the conversation, the other rule of thumb here, other than getting to the name is, we want to break the message short. You know, some people tend to type something very long. Remember, when we are actually dealing with these audiences, right, they are also messenger users. So take a look back at ourselves. So when we use the messenger chatbot or when we're actually conversing people on WhatsApp or messenger, how do we do? We tend to type short and uh, we prefer shorter messages because that's how we do. So you don't possibly want to do something that is long because that puts us off and you don't want that to happen. Okay, and the other rule of thumb that we always have here is that when you have short messages, try to put a delay interval in between. Here, you can actually use this delay feature. You know, when you see this delay by typing three seconds, what does it mean here is when they are really reading it live, they'll be seeing the three dots moving. 
indicating that somebody is actually typing something on the other side. That gives so much human to your bot, all right? So you really want to do that. And then the third rule of thumb here that we always emphasize on is if you can, give your bot a name. Okay, when you give a bot a name, eventually you're actually giving it a personality. And uh, people love to talk to human, even though it's not a human. Okay, so here we have Erica, then we have Sophia and all here and there. So you can actually refer to all the other bot blueprints that we have built. Uh, giving your bot a name really can help a lot in terms of converting these people to start talking. I even got response coming back. Oh, Erica, thank you so much, Erica, for solving my problem and all that. You know, people do like that kind of interaction. Okay, and then the fifth rule of thumb, fourth or fifth, anyway, uh, is we try to use an more emojis because that is also a very important way to soften the feeling of machine. Always remember when we are conversing or we are com communicating on the messenger level, uh, it's pure text and uh, emoji is one of the way that can actually try to make this thing a little bit more softer. And we want that because we want people to stick around to convert and you know to, to, to go through the conversation that we have already designed for them. Okay, so when it comes to chatbot, remember, we won't try to pack every single thing inside. We always go to the very specific one. So if your business is about, you know, A to Z, for example, you try to pick those that are important. Okay, first rule of thumb is you want to look back at your past conversation. What are the most commonly asked questions and scenarios? You want to create a solution for that specifically. And on top of that, you also want to look back at the business. What are the things that you can actually create conversion via messenger platform? Then we build something on that. And other than that, for those other things, you try to bring it offline as in like get their phone number and we talk to them on the phone, you know. Uh, because eventually, remember another thing that we want to emphasize on here is that we are not trying to get chatty on the messenger. No, you're not trying to really close the deal on the messenger or you're not trying to, um, you know, uh, talk to them. This is like chatting and all that. It's not the thing that we want to do. We want to get them to the destination and clear them or build the trust. Eventually, uh, we want them to give us the number so that we can actually uh, do different thing over that. Okay. So now, uh, immediately for this event, you know, it's always event specific. So immediately we come in and say that, oh, are you looking for this event? So the answer is very straightforward. It's just yes and no, right? So for no, um, basically. Uh, there is another set of message for yes, there is another set of message. Now, uh, okay, the other thing that you can consider doing here is that to add a tag, like for example, a tag is really important because like for example, yeah, for this thing, if I want to bring in over here, I can add an action and I add a tag. Um, if you're not familiar with all these, I suggest that you go back to the tool where, I mean to the video where we discuss how to build a flow from scratch. Uh, then we will explain every single features that is available in terms of building the flow. Now, adding a tag is important because this is where you start categorizing your audiences into different categories. Uh, this is a very important step that you want to do. Uh, over here, I put test tag 1, 2 and all that is just test tag because um, when you're using the free version, you're, you can only build up to 10 tags. Uh, that's the reason why we actually limit the test. But you get an idea. So if this is a lead, you know, you just put it as a lead or this is somebody who is interested in specific product, you just go by the product name. So when we add a tag, what are the other things that we can do? We can also add in other actions such as we want to subscribe them to a specific sequence where we want to start sending a series of messages to these people with a very well-designed time intervals and all these kind of things. So refer back to the, to the sequence video to look at how and why we build sequence and how, how you can use it to your benefit, right? So when you add an action, uh, after you added a tag and added a sequence, then you connect back to the message. Now. We are talking about the Make Money Online event, right? And eventually we we'll say that, hey, you are well, great choice. You're interested in my event, right? So um, you can give a brief introduction about, you know, how many thousand people have learned on this and uh, the speaker is who is so knowledgeable, like, and always put the name, yeah? Always emphasize on this. Then uh, we try to segregate this from, uh, I mean, on where they are from. So this would actually get back to the same thing. Now, uh, KL, we bring them to the KL link. Okay, the next event is on the 23rd May. Now, when you have this kind of time sensitive where you put the date over here, you have to make sure that you always come back and change the date. Don't, like for example, this is 23rd May. You know, in June, then you have, when you have a new schedule, remember to come back to this uh, so-called chatbot uh, flow to update the dates and everything, right? So, um, yeah, this, so this, like, the rest are pretty much the same. So, this is actually uh, KL and then uh, P. 
Penang and JB, you know, remember to update the dates. All right, so when for those people who are not interested in the event, then what you can do? So when they say no, then they say that no worries. Let me see how we can help you today, uh, Jason. So are you looking to attend one of our events? Yes, then we will tell them that, look, we list our events over here on the website. So uh, you can also leave us your content so that I can get Jesse to be in touch. Uh, Jesse, obviously, is a fake name, but if you want to put a real name there, it's fine. The whole idea is I want to humanize the whole thing, remember? The reason why we put in the names, the emojis and all that, we want to humanize the bot so that people can feel more comfortable conversing or communicating with the bot, okay? So this is when people are looking for event. Always at the end of the conversation, I always emphasize in other flow design templates or blueprint discussion as well. Whenever you want to end something, end it with a request to say, hey, can I get your phone number? Because that's the ultimate thing that we want to do. All these, you know, when they come to this stage, that means a very serious intent. And uh, if you don't get a phone number, you probably miss a chance of communicating to them on a timely manner to get them to take the action that you want them to take. Okay? Now, if they say, no, I'm not interested in one of the events, then what you can do? Then here, you can start talking about other things that you can offer over here in the board. So you say that, oh, there must be something why you're here. So common ones, okay? Are you looking for a job? And if you're looking for a job, say that, yes, okay, go over to the website and look at all the job openings. Alternatively, you can leave your contact. You see, I always end with a request for a contact. But if they wish to talk, that is very straightforward. You just say that, oh, of course. So um, can I have a contact? So I get Sophia to be in touch. Uh, for this board, it's a bit special because we have three names. Um, we have Sophia, we have Jesse, and who is the board? The board is Erica. So, <laughs> so that's how you build a board for event. Of course, there are other things that you can do, like for example, for this few, right? Once it's actually uh, coming to an end and uh, you want to actually add another step, which you want to um, perform an action, what else you can do over here? You can actually mark this conversation uh, into something. Uh, you can actually trigger something or you can subscribe to sequence, for example. You know, you can subscribe them to a three metric sequence to further communicate and nurture them for something else. So when you add another step, you can have this button added up and you can always connect everything back to the same thing, you see. So same, uh, for this one, because it's already coming to an end, I can actually do this as well. Uh, for this thing, I want to link it back to this thing. So this is how you can play around building your own messenger chatbot. Remember, the rule of thumb here is you want to build a bot to save time and you want to build a bot to help you increase conversion. So if you're in Facebook Ads Accelerator program, um, if you have any questions, remember to head over to our Facebook group uh, to post your questions or even to share your flow design so that I can take a look at how you do your flow. I can probably give in some input on how to uh, actually you know, improvise your bot and all that. And uh, if you're not in this program, I strongly encourage that you click on the description, find the link to take a look at that program. Facebook Ads Accelerator program is one of the most comprehensive Facebook advertising and marketing learning platform or you know a course or a program that you want to take a look at. At the moment of doing this video, we have over 10 hours of videos, um, you know, over about 180 lessons all together. We cover almost everything you need to learn about Facebook advertising, so take a look at it. And probably up to now, you say that, Jason, I love what I see, but I have no time to learn. I have no time to do it. Can you help me do that? Of course, we do offer the service of uh, constructing and building your board as a service. So if you need help, get in touch, okay? And we will see how we can build your board uh, in the next one. So this is actually a board where we build for event and seminar. If you need other boards and other templates, um, it look back in the program. It's all inside. If you're not in the program, enroll. If you need more information, get in touch. So now it's your turn. Go back to your uh, ManyChat platform and start building your own board, okay? And thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.